Does the president owe the London mayor an apology for tweeting a political attack in the hours after this terrorist incident and also misleadingly quoting him? Was that a mistake? It, it wasn't a political attack, Savannah. And as you, as was buried in that report, that one-sided report, here's the other side, that the president stands firm with the people of the UK. He spoke to the prime minister of the United States country, Theresa May, that same night. And again, yesterday, he announced his support for the UK people. I was in the Ford Gala when he said, we will get these people, bring them to justice. The bloodbaths have to stop. Fair enough, and, you Kellyanne, know, but that well, wasn't... No, but let me, wait, but let me wait, finish, wait, wait. because that well, was his you wanted to make tweet. this about something other than what it's about. You well, know, I'm just not going to allow... That. I'm not going to allow on the uh, a day and a half after terrorists did it again, whether they're ISIS-inspired or ISIS-directed, they're savage murderers, it's an evil slaughter, as the president said last night. I'm going to let not let him be seen as the perpetrator here. For every time you said Russia, imagine if you said ISIS. Every time you say Twitter, imagine if you said terrorists. But, but Kelly, maybe we'd have a fairness, different type of vigilance. He's setting the agenda. He's the president. He speaks. The reporters cover what, what he, he said. And what did he say to Theresa May? What did he say to he, Theresa May? He You're did covering say tweet. that to Theresa Kelly, May, but most of his quotes had to do with either his own political concern, the travel ban, of which he's been up having four more tweets about that this morning and a misleading attack on London's mayor. So my question to you was was simply, does he owe does he owe an apology to London's mayor for for quoting him in a misleading and inaccurate way? So we've got the 23rd ISIS inspired or directed attack taking innocent lives, children in Manchester, children in Nice, and and we want to know, we want to some put some blameworthiness here on on President Trump. I'm just not going to allow okay. it. Here's what he's doing as President of the United States and as Commander in Chief, standing firm because an attack on London is an attack on American values. Also, they are our greatest ally, and we stand with them. We will do whatever it takes to help them moving forward.